What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here. As more and more people are getting on airplanes these days on the heels of the coronavirus pandemic, that industry is booming. Well, so too is the business of owning a piece of aviation history. Welcome to Moto Art, an incredibly inventive business that literally takes retired aircraft from commercial airplanes to fighter jets and creates epic pieces of furniture, home decor, and yes, even tags out of its parts. Moto Art is based out of a warehouse and office space in Torrance, and it's a company we've profiled before on the City Cable Show, Common Sense. We have a very extensive historic propellers, but in front of us here is something, a piece that we designed for Delta Airlines, and this is what we call the Delta Wingman. This is one of my favorite pieces, and what this is is two 747 jet engine intakes that we, or what we call in the cell or cowling, that we've cut and sandwiched together. And what this is is basically an entryway. Here we got a British Nat Wing. This is a B-52 bomber conference table. And what we have here is a fuselage coffee table. But like most, if not not all businesses lately, COVID-19 played a role in how they ran their ship, or say, flew their airplane. Here we are back at MotoArt, two years from when we were last here. A lot has changed. A lot has changed in two years. Like so many other businesses, COVID hit people hard. How did it affect your business? Well, when COVID hit, you know, right off the bat, we lost all of our commercial accounts. We, we were with contracts with American Airlines, Delta Airlines, British Airways, United Airlines, all that disappeared, which uh, was quite a shocker, but you know, we expected for what was happening. Like everyone else, we closed down for a month or two, but then we realized that, you know, people were such fans of the plane tags. It was actually my marketing guy. He was like, look, we should be really like pushing it now. And so we did, we really kind of changed our whole direction. So you know what, let's, let's start really kicking out these plane tags. So we went to introducing a brand new plane tag every two weeks. And what a plane tag is, is a piece of aviation history that's on a card that talks all about the aircraft. So it's almost like a baseball card for aircraft, but it actually has a piece of that aircraft on it. And on the tag itself, we put the serial number down, the series number, and all about the history of that particular aircraft. So we really kind of just started hitting it hard, doing lots of social media advertising, and in introducing more and more planes. And I kid you not, our business actually started ticking up because we found that people were staying home and they were looking for entertainment. And this little tag and these little histories of all these planes was really what helped people get through the day. Coinciding with COVID was the shutdown of aviation and that's your business. So it not only affected your contracts, but it affected the airplanes, the retired airplanes that you could get to make your furniture and your tags. Right, right. Well, you know, what happened was a lot of these boneyards that we visit where they do a lot of teardowns, all of a sudden tearing down aircraft wasn't the focus. It was storing planes. They had to put all these aircraft somewhere. So all my vendors, whether it's in Roswell or Mojave or Victorville, they had no time to cut planes, they were parking planes. But luckily, you know, we had enough to continue doing what we're doing. And we really built up our audience in the private market because of this. A fan club out there that has a couple thousand members developed over COVID. They're all buying and selling and trading plane tags. It's kind of fun to watch. Let's talk about the price point of the plane tags because with MotoArt, you sell high-end furniture. They're pieces that sell for a lot of money people buy them because they want that. With the plane tags, it still gives you the access to an airplane, but for less money and it allows people in. Right, Moto Art, it's beautiful. We make functional art and exhibits. It, we're known all over the world for our work, but I get it. Who can afford a $20,000 desk? I mean, then that's what they go for. I mean, we have hundreds of hours to make them look so beautiful. But when we came out with a plane tag, it also, we came out with that $20 item. Mind you, I think the, the cheapest one's $25, but, it was just boom. It really exploded on us because now everyone can afford a piece of aviation history. Now that COVID is seemingly on the way out, what does your business model look like now? Well, you know, we're busy as ever because the airlines have just really kind of picked up and started running again. And they view what we do with the tags and the fun stuff as we do is kind of ways to entice people. Uh, it's like, hey, welcome back. It's amazing. We just seen the contracts immediately start coming back in for us. Everything just kind of went on hold. March 14th of 2020, I mean, literally, we were about to debut some big stuff. 
things were built and this and that, and it went and just stopped. During COVID, how did you stay optimistic and how did you keep your workers optimistic? Well, I, I think the first thing that we did uh, is we tried to take care of our employees. Uh, we immediately, without question, gave everyone sick pay for, for a month so they didn't stress out. I use it as an opportunity to completely clean my shop up. So I, I was here every day just you know, pulling the stuff out and reorganizing and really just thinking about what we're gonna do. And it finally got to the point where, hey guys, we gotta get going again. We have to proceed. And you know, what was difficult was, you know, a lot of these guys had the unemployment that were making pretty good money with the unemployment. It was a little bit of a struggle getting them back. But you know, we have a, a great team here and I know they all value their jobs, so they all came back. We were pretty strict about the COVID precautions. You know, there were so many unknowns, but we really took extra steps. We hired a cleaning lady who was here four hours a day to do nothing but clean. We had masks, we had the sanitizer, we had notifications posted. And then of course, first and foremost, if you know someone who's sick, stay home, right? So we had lots and lots of lapses of employment where I mean, it was tough. It's like, hey, you know, my guy I go bicycle riding with, he's got COVID. Dude, stay home. So we had a lot of downtime because of that. But luckily we had the PPP loans from the government and uh, that really helped us out tremendously because we didn't think twice about it. We just you take the time off. You know, this is what that money is for. Not only are we coming out of COVID right now, but you're celebrating your 20th anniversary and you have a lot of really cool things up ahead. Right some really exciting uh, things, including uh, we just need to deal with Delta Airlines where we get to categorize their whole fleet of uh, aircraft where so much for every plane tag sale with Delta Airlines goes to their favorite charity, which is huge news for us. Uh, but also we were working with NASA. NASA, they retired what they call the mobile launch platform which was responsible for all the space shuttle launches. NASA actually said that they congratulated us and said this is the most unique a new idea we've ever seen. And literally, I'm talking about this thing is massive. And it's half inch rocket blasted steel. And, and here I have a chunk of it where what we did is we are well, we were taking sections out. And this was the last thing that literally touched the space shuttle before it took off. It's called the TSMUs, which is the little thing that actually connects the space shuttle. And basically what we did, we created this collectible card here, which is aluminum, and we put a magnet on it. So, boom, kind of fits the rest of the plane tag series. And now one thing is for certain, the future of moto art is still all clear for takeoff. 20 years is pretty amazing for, I mean, for me. There was times in my life that I would never thought that this company would go 20 years. I mean, look, there was a lot of doubters when we started moto art, including you know, me personally. It was tough to keep it going, but being here now and getting through COVID and, and having the 20 years and really being the busiest we've ever been, it is rewarding.